Hey friends, it's Robin again, and I'm here today to show you what's in this box. But before we get started on what we've got, I want to show you how to get it and what should be inside. First step is heading on over to fashionbulk.com. I navigated down to where I could choose from various apparel boxes, and the one called Private Label Designer Brands caught my eye. I typically try to sell items that you can find in high-end stores like Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus, but I figured why not give this a go? There might be something interesting inside. So what are we looking for here? The box should have new with tag items. This is in the description in the title. There should be 25 items in this box and these should include some LA Fashion District brand names. As I go through the unboxing, I'll be keeping track of these things for you as well as the retail cost or any comp value that I can find. That way you can figure out if this might be a good purchase for you. All right, let's get started. The first item I got was this white and red shirred crop tank top with tie straps, and it's from a brand called Aftermarket, and I couldn't find a size tag on it. Speaking of which, this also did not have a tag on it, so there's there goes the new with tags claim. Second item I got was this cute black crop t-shirt size large, and it was from Forever 21. This did have a tag on it, but this isn't what I think when I read private label designer brands. Third item was this lime and chili striped ruffle sleeve tunic dress. Not really sure what it is, to be honest. This one was size uh, extra large and it did not have a tag. Fourth, I got this Missia black notch neck roll up sleeve tunic and it was also size extra large, no tags. Next was this absolutely tiny, but I'm assuming very stretchy, red cold shoulder top in size small from La V 89. And next was this uh, Missia pink and cream lace top. It's lace on the front, cuffed short sleeves, and a cool texture on the knit fabric that makes up the rest of the garment. It was also new with tags and a size large. Then I got a short sleeve button detail top. It's asymmetrical in this wine red color. I got two of these, which you'll see later in the video. This one was a size small and it was new with tags. Item number eight was this very similar long sleeve cowl neck top with the same button detail. It's very, very soft knit fabric seems like a sweater dress, uh, size extra large, and new with tags. Number nine was this black lace detail tank from Montaigne. Montagna? Not sure how to pronounce that one. Uh, it's size large and new with tags. Next was this only Love Collection urbanized brick red capri short pant thing, and it had this interesting belt. It was half leather, half fabric with a metal ring to keep it all together. And there's also this jersey inset at the knee to allow for movement. This one was size 27 and it was new with tags. We got this Missia beige uh, pocketed t-shirt, size large and new with tags. It's really oversized and very lightweight, kind of has these side tails to it. Not my style, but I'll bet somebody would love it. Next was the second only Love Collection piece that I received. It's this beautiful blush colored high-low dress with a gold detail at the bust and a set of ties to go up around your neck. It's a size large and is new with tags. I also got this black aftermarket tank with a ruffle detail around the neck and the sleeves. This one had a tag on it and it was size small. Next item I got was this long sleeve white polka dotted tie neck blouse. And these kinds of shirts make me want to go back to work again in an office. <laughs> anyway, it was size large and new with tags. I got a second lime and chili item. This time it was this strapless tube maxi dress with a drapey front. It was size small, but there were no tags on this one. The next two items were these cute Harlequin print skater dresses. First was this black and white one, size small and no tag. It has a scoop neck and a V back. And next is the green and black one. Same cut, size medium. I think there's definitely a market for these. They're super cute and I can imagine them with a pair of chucks. Also from timing, I got this pink V-neck crop tank top with a belt around the front, it was size large and new with tags. Items 19 and 20 are both this beautiful blouse from English Rose. It has a collar, buttons up the front, the buttons are these gold bars. It's got these wonderfully pleated accordion sleeves. It's semi-sheer, really, really lightweight, and as an added bonus, the back is completely open. I love this thing. Great color, cute style, one in medium and one in large. 
and I might be keeping the large for myself. Okay, here's that duplicate Missia short sleeve top, size large and with tags. I have two more aftermarket items in this lot. By the way, three quarters of the aftermarket items have no size tags on them. Is this really a thing? All right, anyway, so this is the first one. It's a red and white and blue gingham summer dress, spaghetti straps. Second is this blue pinstriped off the shoulder spaghetti strap slit maxi dress. It's light, airy, beautiful, no tags on this one either, and I don't know what size it is. I got this timing white tie front, long sleeve crop top, size small, no tags. And lastly, this striped long sleeve crop top size medium, and it does have a tag. And as my toddler would say, all done. And time to wrap it up and see how it all shakes out. This box was supposed to contain items that were new with tags. The way the title was written, it appeared to me that all of the items were going to be new with tags, but that wasn't the case. At the end of the day, 40% of the box did not have tags. How many items were in the box? We were promised 25 and we got 25. Okay, I did some research on the brands because who doesn't like internet sleuthing? And I found that Missia, Timing, and Lobby 89 are all owned by Timing Incorporated, and they are all LA-based boutique brands. English Rose is a mystery to me, to be honest. I looked them up. All I could find was a boutique in Amarillo, Texas. When I clicked clothing, I got Bubkiss. Lime and Chili is an LA-based brand located in the fashion district and so is Aftermarket. Only is a European-based brand, but sells internationally, and it seems to be quite a large brand from what I could tell. Last is Montaigne. Can't tell if it's the same brand because the logo is completely different, but they may have just been rebranded. Regardless, this Montaigne seems to be located in Montreal and not LA. And just for kicks, I looked up Forever 21 because maybe they are an LA boutique brand. Turns out they are headquartered in LA. So that means that out of the nine brands we received, five of them, if you count Forever 21, are from LA. Many of the items were impossible to price out online because they come from small boutiques. So I did my best pricing these out and I think that I'll be able to get about $325 for the items. Take out the 128.27 for the cost of goods, we have a potential profit of about 200 bucks. That's okay, but not what I wanna see. Would I buy it again? Probably not but I might change my mind depending on how well these sell. Also, this box was advertised as customizable, so I might try it again and request certain brands. The box was not customized this time because I wanted to see what I might get if I just had them throw junk into a box. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video and would appreciate a like and a subscribe so that you can check out some more videos from me. For now, comment below, what do you think? Do you wanna pick one of these up? Let me know. Until then, be well.